lying to ourselves. A final thing that we might be doing living non-stylishly is telling ourselves things that perhaps aren't entirely true, shall we say. And often we don't realise that's the case. Again, we've learned to say these things, we just, just accept them because they feel true, but perhaps they're not that, that hard and fast fact that we like to think they are. And a couple of examples of that might be in relation to our eating. Because it's a fairly common conversation I have with people where they express that they don't know why they're not losing weight because they don't eat very much. And whilst I know they're not lying per se, they, that's not entirely true. Because if we accept, and until I'm shown evidence to the contrary, that everyone ever tested in laboratory circumstances where we can control energy in versus energy out to plus or minus 20 calories per day, way more accurate than just, say, tracking with my fitness pal, everyone ever tested has lost weight at fairly similar rates, then we'd have to be the first person ever to not lose weight when in a verified calorie deficit. So what's more likely actually is, even though we might think we are, we're not in a calorie deficit. And that's empowering to know that because that takes us away from being a victim of our genes and, and not knowing what to do, to realising that we've just been perhaps mistaken, that we need to get a bit more accuracy in our figures, or that we're perhaps lying to ourselves about some of the things that we eat. Maybe forgetting about them, but it's still not the entirety of the truth. And the second way is in relation to how busy we are, and therefore the things we can and can't do. Because again, I get it, but more and more over the last 20 years, i found that our society's go-to justification for not doing the things we said we were going to do is time and busyness. And I know we've got busy full on lives, but I also know that if, and I'm using a ridiculous example, someone close to us was gonna like die a horrible death, but if we didn't do the thing we set out to do, we wouldn't just wish them goodbye and say, I'm sorry, I'm really busy. We'd do those things. And it'd actually be really easy. Now that doesn't automatically mean it's gonna be that easy in reality, but it helps us question how busy we are. And we're perhaps lying to ourselves as well about what we actually could do. Maybe we are too busy to do five two-hour workouts per week, but are we too busy to do three 45-minute ones? Are we too busy to do five five-minute bodyweight workouts in front of the TV? Won't get us the best results ever, won't get us in the Olympics, but we'll get us better results than doing nothing. Again, from my own experience and from the studies, I can guarantee you that. So ultimately, we're probably all telling ourselves things that, that aren't the entirety of the truth. That's a non-stylish way to live. And when we realise that and be more honest and, and accurate with those things, we're way more likely to achieve the results we desire.